What are you doing amongst my personal effects? Yeah, I probably shouldn't go reading around in their chest when they're here. Leave me and my items be. Suppose I'll have to wait until he's gone to rummage around. Yes. Go brood, Hamlet. Thank you. Some notes. So we've read notes already. Curtains, curtains. Nothing I'm missing. The candle isn't like a secret lever. Okay, let's go speak with Hamlet directly. About the loot, that is. Who's this here? Kiki. <clears throat> A missing loot. Hamlet? I found a note from my brother accusing you of having stolen his loot. Do you know anything about it? What? You've got to be joking, surely. Yes? Hmm. Firstly, that loot hasn't been used in years. Why is he looking for it now? And secondly, I never laid a hand on the damn thing. I can't even play. Does Bernardo know about this? I'm confident the loot is with him. No. Not yet, no. Well, tell him I want to see him at once. Go on, then. Okay, sure. <laughs> this is awkward. Hold on. There we go. That's better. Bernardo. I found a note from my brother accusing Hamlet of having stolen his loot. Do you know anything about it? Hmm. The stolen loot? From his room? Um. Oh. Oh! I see. Yes, I think I know precisely what he means. Precisely what he means? Um. Is a loot some sort of a euphemism? Have you spoken with Hamlet about this yet? Yes. I have. He wants to meet with you to find it. Excellent. I'll find him, Annan. Alright, when's that happening? Where is that happening? It is happening now. It is happening in the courtyard. My lord? I understand there is the matter of a missing loot from many years ago to attend to. Hmm. You mean Laertes' loot? Did Ophelia send you after me? Indeed, my lord. I imagine he's holding quite the grudge over it. <sighs> Can we drop the titles just for a minute, Bernardo? We're talking about a time when we used to dare each other to eat mud. The dog thinks I stole it from him. I didn't, right? You remember, don't you? Of course. He lent it to me, though he doesn't remember, of course. Laertes always was quick to blame you. Well, solution of the matter is simple. If he lent it to you, just give his loot back. Uh, well... Ah, my god, you lost it, didn't you? Yes. In a manner of speaking, but it's somewhere in the castle, I believe. He's going to kill me. Not that I'm frightened of Laertes or anything. I'm not, of course. Hmm. It could only be in a couple of places, truly. My memory is ever so slightly hazy. Uh, however, I seem to recall there was one night we took the loot up on the walls. We were all three together, were we not? And I had it then. I know I did. Hmm. The walls, of course. The blasted walls. It's got to be up there. Let us meet when we have a moment from our respective duties. I don't know where this is leading. Like, I can't imagine this is leading anywhere useful. But maybe. Oh, it's quite a bit later.
What event did I just click on? Hey? Hmm. Goodness, I don't often take the patrol up here. I forgot how cold and damp it is. <laughs> that damn loot has to be here somewhere. Are they talking across the wall? Like, they're on complete opposite sides of it. That's a good couple hundred feet. I would have expected it to be here. I don't see it. Neither do I. And besides, even if it were here, it'd be soaked through with seaward mist. <sighs> Laertes is going to throttle us both. You're stronger than he is. My money's on you. That is decidedly not the point here. Mm-hmm. Okay, had to wait for Hamlet to go all the way across the wall. <laughs> Worried you haven't kept your sparring skills up to date? Why do I feel like this joke spar is going to result in Bernardo being pushed off the wall? On guard! Ugh. What was that for? Uh, uh, uh. Come now. It was merely the flat of the blade. Aren't you going to dodge? Ugh. To show you the flat of my blade would be unseemly for a man of my role. Coward. <gasps> Wait. Yeah. Ow, stop. All right, point made, Bernardo. Stop. My lord. As you wish, my lord. No. Wait, don't grow serious now. I was only joking. We can continue sparring. I think that's quite enough for now, my lord. Were I to injure you, it would draw significant ire. I remember when we used to spar all morning as boys, and I'd come home with bruises. I see. I guess some things have changed. You are much more a prince and much less a boy, for one. I suppose so. Hmm. Well, in any case, the loot isn't here. If Laertes were here, I'm certain he'd remember. Why did it not be in the woods by the pond? I seem to recall us going out there the last time we were home from Wittenberg. Indeed. When is next convenient? Let's meet and search the woods. So they're searching for a loot, but this is basically just... It's basically just a thinly veiled excuse to hang out with each other and reminisce about when they were young. It even says Bernardo and Hamlet's fruitless search continues. Hi, ghost. Some weird stuff is happening. I've noticed you're free of your assassin. I am. Thank you. Where am I? <laughs> slow, slow, slow pan across the entire wall. I don't believe I've been out here in quite some time. This is the only place I can stop and think a while. It can be so stifling in there. There? The castle, you mean? Yes. All those eyes around. Here, the only things watching are birds. Hmm. Now, where would that loot be? In the brush, I imagine. Over here. Bernardo. I? Feels as though it's been ages since you and I had a real conversation. It has, hasn't it? Yes. Are... Are you well? Are you happy? Getting on? With, with the guard and all? My lord, I find your sudden concern for others extremely unusual, and therefore upsetting. But yes, I'm alright. These days it seems as though there's a cloud over you. There's something strange about you. Most would say the same about you, my lord. 
That's the problem with growing old. We were carefree once. Now things are different. <sighs> and so they are. Say, Bernardo. What we saw that night. My father's ghost. That was real, wasn't it? I didn't dream it. I'm not mad, am I? Not at all, my lord. Did you ever doubt? I... I think I did. A little. I don't know what to do. I want to forget what I saw. But I can't. I can't. All I do is see his face, burned into the back of my mind. My lord, perhaps it is the devil speaking to you. Or perhaps it is a sign. I know not which. A sign of what? I don't know. Bernardo. What is this distance I feel? I know I haven't been the most ardent friend lately, but I knew everything about you once, and you me. Can we not be that way once more? I am in short supply of men I can trust these days. My lord. The things which weigh on my mind would only make your humor worse and would improve little for me. Please, focus on yourself, on your own health. For Denmark's sake, we need you. Ah. Wait a moment. Here, the loot. Look. You found it. And it's entirely dry. A miracle. I wish I knew how to make this right, Bernardo. But Laertes is gone. Indeed. If only Laertes were here, we could give it to him. Hint, hint, I should start a new timeline and keep Laertes here. <laughs> I'm certain he's playing some other better loot in Paris. Yes. When he returns, you ought to give this back to him swiftly. Perhaps even make proper amends. Until then, I bid you goodbye. I have my rounds to make. Farewell. Ah. I know if Laertes were here, things would have gone differently. There's more to this situation. Yes. Unlikely event, Hamlet gives Laertes his loot back. What's going on? I was just collecting mushrooms. Not being a creep. Anyway, you. Hamlet. Okay, let's witness this happen again, but this time Laertes is still here. And there we go, now they find the loot. Entirely dry, a miracle if I've seen one. I'd like to make things right with Laertes. Indeed. Since he has remained in Elsinore, I'll return it to him, Annan. No. Allow me. I've been avoiding Laertes far too long. I'll put an end to this constant back and forth between us. Hmm. Is that wise, my lord? Let me be the judge of that. When is that happening? Much later tonight, in Laertes' chambers. Almost time. Thought I'd find you here. <laughs> Come to insult me, then. No. To make a return, in fact. I have something of yours. My loot. I knew you'd stolen it. <sighs> I didn't. But you won't believe me regardless. You're right. Put it over there and leave. You know, Laertes, you're the consummate gentleman. Everyone in Elsinore admires you so. Even my uncle, a man who bends to no one, gives you his ear freely. All I ever wanted was a sliver of that same admiration. <laughs> Why? But you've hated me all these years, haven't you? 
I can feel your stare upon my back wherever I go. You tore my sister's heart open. Who wouldn't hate you? You detested me long before that. Let us not pretend this is some new grievance. No. You gallivant around in your own little world, paying no mind to the needs of the country you will someday run. Is that not reason enough to hate you? If I were meant to run this country, I would already be doing so. I'm but a stallion, for show. Nobody wants me to wear the crown. I'll be honest, Laertes. I came here hoping to forge a peace. You destroyed my sister's happiness, neglected your country, and abandoned your father's legacy. All of these things I despise, all things which sap my respect. How can you be so naive as to think you and I could ever be friends, in this world or the next? I learned a new language of hatred in order to know my own feelings for you. I didn't know what it was to hate anyone like this, until now. So, get out. Get out now. Leave the loot and go. No. I can never fix the horrible things I've done to you over the years, Laertes. I... I'm not like you. My mind doesn't work like yours. Something's broken in my head, I think. And I wish with all my soul it could be otherwise. I can't. Do you think I enjoy disappointing everyone? No one does. But please believe me. I never meant to cause you harm. Listen. So if you would continue to despise me in light of that, then I urge you. Kill me. Kill me and have your peace. A trick. Hamlet, what trick is this? Please. It is no trick. I have wanted to die for months. Please, I'm exhausted. Everyone hates me, but none more than I hate myself. And I'm ready. May it bring you comfort and vengeance. I thought I wanted your death, but no, I don't want your death. But I do seek your destruction, of a sort. The destruction of your family line and its undue influence upon my country. The men of your line have brought this country to its knees, embattled it in needless wars, and drained its coffers. And I have no reason to believe you will be any stronger or better than they were. If anything, I see many of their vices reflected back in you. So, you and I, we cannot be allies. And now that I vote on behalf of our lands in my father's place, I will never alight upon you as my king. I shall work to turn the nobility against you. Even if you prove to me that you can do otherwise. I know who you are, and who you've been, and will always be. You will never be a king. That's all I want. Jesus. I'm just sad. Did that finish the missing loot? <laughs> it did. <laughs> Found the loot. That's definitely what the quest was about, the loot. Hamlet returned the found loot to Laertes. At first Laertes was furious, but I think the conversation was many years in its formation. It seemed to be cathartic, in a way. They understand one another better now, at least. Perhaps I can leverage this to help them keep the peace in the future. 
Has that given me any sort of hearsay about it? Ah, I can kind of subtly say that, hey, I found a note talking about the loot. And then they say, uh, but they basically say it's already been returned and then go on to say, Hamlet and I, we spoke honestly for perhaps the first time in our lives. I no longer desire his downfall. Whether I cheer for his success is another matter entirely. So it's Saturday morning. Hamlet is still alive, so they're being sent off in the boat. Remember I mentioned the whole King Claudius plot to kill Hamlet thing to King Claudius before, but I did it really, really early on when they hadn't even thought of it. So they had no idea what the hell I was talking about. Well, this time I just brought it up right at the moment when they're actually walking to the boat to leave. And this is what King Claudius has to say. If you... If you're sympathetic to my thoughts and actions, if you knew of my plan, why did you not tell me sooner? Well, no matter. He's on the ocean now. I can't do anything. May his ship sink all the swifter. Yeah, like I figured, now is too late. So I... How long do I have to wait until they hatch the plan? I'm not sure exactly. Easy enough to test, though. Back at the beginning of a new loop, talking to Gertrude. Um, let's mention the king's notes. Because Gertrude was married to old King Hamlet. So I think it'd be particularly interesting to them. My queen. My father has in his possession some notes written by King Hamlet before his death. What do you know of them? What? Notes written by my husband, Hamlet. Yes, my lady. Why wouldn't he have given them to me? How could Polonius have something like that? After my husband's passing, your father was ordered to hand over all such documents to myself and Claudius. What could they contain? Hmm. They must have been stolen. Confidential information withheld from me. Against my direct orders, no less. Uh, there's no proof of that yet, my lady. No. That's the only reason I wouldn't know about these notes, if they exist. I'll have his room searched immediately. Future event in which the queen is upset Polonius withheld King Hamlet's notes. Okay, good. That's actually interesting. And might actually lead somewhere. When I told Claudius about the notes, they just waited to arrest... Polonius until after they had burned the notes. This might not be waiting too long. Queen is upset. That's not searching the room, though. But yeah, the notes are going to be burned, I think, around like three or four in the morning here. In Polonius' chambers. Okay, good. If they're in Polonius' chambers for the event, then maybe they will actually stop him from burning the notes. My lady! Lord Polonius. I've come to claim some property of mine. What? Tell me, Polonius. When my husband died, what was it precisely that my husband and I requested of all in Elsinore? Ah. Yes, I recall. You asked us all to turn over everything of King Hamlet's we owned, my lady. And I did. Hmm. Did you? Or have you hidden something from me still? I was... Well, my lady, I was trying to... <clears throat> preparing to destroy evidence of something, perhaps. I wouldn't. I merely withheld these documents to protect him. So you still have them in your possession? So it's true. You are saying my husband left something you never showed us. How could you? You lied to us after I trusted you implicitly. I regret that I have broken your trust. <sighs> A man has two deaths, they say. Once when he dies and once when his legacy is forgotten. I served your husband Hamlet for all of his life. 
I didn't want anyone, you least of all, to have to see the way he was in the end. Oh, don't. Please. You don't think I know how he was? How he looked at me with such pity and despair? He was my husband, Polonius. Nothing he could have written in those notes could be so shameful as to be worth hiding. Give me those notes, now. No. I will not, my lady. Oh, whoops, I served King Hamlet and- Oh, did they burn him? Damn, they still have time what? to burn him. What do you think you're doing? What I should have done the day he died. I promised your late husband I would burn these, and I'm not about to forgo such a promise. I apologize sincerely, but I cannot hand these to you. Right in front of me! The gall! You feeble old doddering fool! Are they burning to death? Father! My god, his head is in the flames. Holy shit! No! But he crossed me. It was in defense. Defense of my husband, not my own life. I had to do it. <gasps> you killed him. Why? I couldn't. I had no choice. I had no choice, Hamlet, my love. I swear it. <laughs> Hamlet, Hamlet. She's not in her right mind. I must know. The price paid. What is this? These notes. No. This cannot be right. My husband didn't write this. Wait, so they didn't burn the notes? It looked like they did. My husband didn't write this. What does it say? <laughs> it isn't real, Ophelia, is it? Tell me it isn't true. It cannot be. These notes are pure madness. They make no sense. My husband, he suffered alone. Just like my poor Hamlet. I failed them both. She left the notes sitting in that chest. Though now I'm worried about the Queen's state. Where did she run off to? Queen Gertrude shatters and will not recover. Queen Gertrude now wants to destroy Queen Gertrude. I didn't realize getting the notes would be so easy. I thought I was missing some big galaxy brain strategy. Not at all. There are pages in here, scattered and frayed. The Ravings of King Hamlet. Again, again, again. Polonius, not even you can save your master from hell this time. I can see defeat on ever finding that book. The Hand of Dionys Dionysus, Dionysus, they call it. I find references, mentions, breadcrumbs. Did you know it's been mentioned as far back as Judas Iscariot? And even older still. Polonius, find the book so that no one must suffer, must die like this. Time is nothing. Death is nothing. For the last hundred years alone I have lain in the garden, awaiting the trickle of my brother's poison in my ear a thousand times. Again and again and again. How cruel should it be that this gap of time seems to begin and end with me lying in the garden on a warm spring morning? How does my brother always find a way to kill me? Is his hatred of me truly so strong? And my wife, my wife, her faithfulness useless, meaningless, the bridal bed soiled with another's lust. 
Let her have him if she loves him so much. Let them cavort in the halls of Elsinore, and some years hence, the chambers of hell. I could not say goodbye to my only son. My regrets burn in my throat like acid, like poison. I can say goodbye only to you. So farewell, my faithful advisor. Bury me far from Claudius if it's the last thing you do. I can hear the playmaster's footsteps in the hallway, here to relieve me from this endless madness. I give up. I give up. Yeah, so this looks like the ravings of King Hamlet to most people, but not to me. This is not ravings, this is somebody who's fed up with being stuck in a goddamn time loop, the same thing that I am stuck in. That book. That book that came with Simona. Apparently it's called the Hand of Dionysus. Dionysus. I think it's Dionysus. I can hear the Playmaster's footsteps in the hallway, here to relieve me from this endless madness. I give up. The Playmaster has the ability to just end it? You can just tell the Playmaster I give up? God, the Playmaster is so fucking creepy. How could... This reads like... It's almost as if... As if time were repeating for him too. Is this what father was afraid I'd find? The mad rantings of a man in my exact predicament? He mentions a strange cursed book. What he was searching for, his way out. Perhaps if I can find it, there's still an escape. No wonder father didn't want the others to find out about this. Everyone saw Hamlet as a strong king. No one ever thought him insane. But if people believe that insanity runs in the family's bloodline, then that's caused to remove not just Hamlet, but Gertrude and Claudius from Elsinore. Acquired the information, the King's Cursed Book. Learn more about the Hand of Dionysus. Learn more about the Playmaster. Learn more about the Ghost. Yeah, we just learned a lot. So, what's a new lead? The notes now Ash is done. Nice. I had to do something truly monstrous in order to get my hands on the king's notes, but I found them nonetheless. Father will be safe and well in the next world. It doesn't make what happened right, but I know now his death is but a passing trial. Now all that's left is to speak to the ghost. Okay, so I should speak to the ghost again about this. Hopefully they can remember something, because they have such trouble remembering. The Playmaster. Was this updated? King Hamlet's final notes mentioned Quince as the Playmaster. He writes that Quince relieved him of his eternal torment, which explains why he's a spirit in my world and no longer trapped in time. But if Quince has the power to do that, why hasn't he done it for me? What's clear is that all paths seem to lead to me finding this book, this Hand of Dionysus. I'll need to do that before I can understand more. King Hamma believes that if he had found a book, The Hand of Dionysus, he could have found a way to put an end to his plight. If this book exists and is the source of this castle's curse, surely someone has to know something about it. Lady Simona was last seen with the Book of Fates, and I know something King Hamlet did not. She's still alive. I can find her. Someone who sees a great deal of people on a daily basis might know. Yeah, we already know where to find them. Sunday morning, in the bar. The tavern. Did we learn more about any of these characters, like, in their entry? Mm, yeah, I found King Hamlet's abandoned notes describing the end of his life. He was like me, but he gave up and let madness consume him. He knew and understood everything that was happening around him. His brother's plot against him. His wife turning from him. And he couldn't stop it. Now he remains in Elsinore, neither alive nor fully dead. But why? Will that happen to me, too? The Playmaster? Uh... 
Is this new? Quince isn't just repeating time along with me, also seems to have some small ability to alter the flow of events. But if that's true, then why doesn't he just alter his way out? Is he here for my sake? I'm not sure if that's new or not. Okay. Well, I think this is a good place to end the episode. I wasn't expecting to ma make such massive progress. I was thinking that was going to be a dead end. But no, that really was the thing we were missing. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, well, we're going to start asking around about the Hand of Dionysus.